Good morning, potato chips. How are you doing? We parry from across the shock and just another video for you today. And what have we got? Victorian ox. Oh, there again. I've done it straight away. Victorian ox. And I'm not sure what the title is. I haven't put it yet, but it's going to be Victorian ox and why and where I buy them in the UK. Because I don't buy new all the time. If I can get one, I'll get one second hand because there's plenty of them out there. But there's plenty of dealers out there that are not quite as good as I would like. And I have one that I've shared plenty of times in the channel, but I just want to go through and show you why and what's changing with him that will help and hopefully make you pop over there and choose him once, in fact, more than once, like I have done. So anyway, what's Victorinox? Victorinox is a knife brand that's been about from the 1890s, somewhere around there. There was them and Wanger started, Wanger, Wanger started uh, within a couple of years of each other. Victorinox was the first Swiss Army knife and it was the, the first officer knife, the officer Swiss knife. But they have just evolved and they make a huge variety of knives, which are for the every man. And I'm using that word, but every man is probably just about right because it's whether you're a knife lover, a knife user, a knife collector, or just somebody in a house who wants to have a knife to do odd jobs about the house, who wants to have a tool to do odd jobs about the house. And Victoria Knox has it covered. And I'm going to show a few today, but for me, I'm going to show why I think they're a great EDC knife that I'm starting to use more and more for EDC. I'm going to start with some of the work tools just to give you a basic idea. This is the one that everybody sees in the magazine. This is called the Mini, the Champ. Sorry. This is the Champ, one of their biggest models. Not the biggest, but one of the biggest. And it has nearly every tool that you could possibly need in a day around the house. This is, this is for the man in the house. He wants to, a drawer in the kitchen where he can go and pick this and it will do for screwdriving, cutting, um, You've got pliers on it. You know, you have a huge, you know, lovely big set of pliers. You have a huge set of screwdrivers. Oh, screwdrivers. What am I talking about, you yeah, Wally? A huge pair of scissors on it. Really lovely scissors. Very, very good scissors as well. It's got a couple of pen knives. It's got, it's even got steel files and nail files. They're all in the one thing here. Beautifully in there. It's got uh, inline posi drive. You know, this goes over here. Inline, absolutely fantastic. For those of us who are short-sighted or you want to check up on anything close by, you have an eight times magnifying glass, which is fantastic, I can tell you. I use it constantly. Um, and then you get flathead screwdrivers, bottle openers, can openers. It is an all-round. On the back of it, you have your, your wine bottle. You have a punch for putting holes in your belts. There's just everything you can think of. A little small technical screwdriver that you can use for, you know, plugs and things like that that you want to change the, or tighten the wiring up. And you also get the, um, well, this has got the exceptional skills. This has got the tweezers, the toothpick, but it's also got a big pen in there as well. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's got a big pen in there, which is just fantastic. Because you know you often run out, especially when you need one. And a big uh, toothpick. So a fantastic thing for anybody who does a little bit of DIY about the house, but doesn't want to carry a toolbox about. This will cover most jobs that come up in your house. It really will. Because they're just going to be little quick jobs. Take the screw, cut something, file something down so as it doesn't rub. That's the knife for you, the champ. It's fantastic. And you can pick these up second hand for about 40, 45 quid from good reputable dealers, which I'm going to get on to eventually. Um, now, if you're somebody who works outside or loves to go for a ramble with his dog, loves to get out and go into the woods, look at this. This is an amazing knife. And this is the Outrider. This is the Outrider. Now, this has a locking blade, which if you're in the woods, you know, don't carry this in your pocket to the woods, put it in the backpack. You're allowed to have a locking knife in the woods. You know, if you're going to use it responsibly, it is for the woods. And if you're in a ramble with a backpack, that's exactly what you're doing. So this has a beautiful big blade, well-used blade. Um, it is, let me just get you a length on it. 
it has a cutting edge of just over three inches on the cutting edge. Beautiful big knife. Really is lovely. And it's locking, so you can get a bit of, you can put a bit of torque. Does it, it moves up and down slightly, but nothing that's going to worry you. And the lock is here on it. Just pull that down, turn your knife, and there you go. It also has huge big saw. Look at that wood saw. If you want to do a bit of whittling, you want to cut something down, what a cracking saw to have just on your pocket. It just is lovely. And it's also got, it's actually got an inline Phillips. It's got a huge big pair of scissors and it has cap, uh, the cap openers, uh, the, the bottle openers and the can opener on it. Great little, great little, great big tool to take in the outside with you. On the back, you have an aisle for punching through or turning holes in wood and you have the, the wine bottle opener there. I really struggled to get that out, didn't I? <laughs> but again, for going out into the woods, absolutely fantastic. What more do you want to take? You don't need to take anything more with you. This is it. And it's very, very comfortable. And whatever blade you've got out, it is genuinely comfortable. It's a, you know, it's a big fat knife, obviously. You have so many tools on it. Uh, so that, a really handy tool. And that one is the Outrider. Now, first, this is more going back into the house or even work. If you want to have these in your, your toolbox when you're in work or your tool bag in the office drawer for just things that you might need. This has a torch on it. Yeah, a torch. It has a cracking little torch. There's the two batteries that come with it. Easy to get at and easy to change. Press button torch. Oh, there you go. Press button torch. Good enough light to see in any any uh, form of darkness you've got an inline oh i keep wrapping that you've got an inline phillips screwdriver there you have two knives you have the bottle opener and the can opener in the back you have the uh uh corkscrew with a little eyeglass in it and you have a all in the back these come in really handy you know, even for, you know, if you're wanting to put a hole in your belt or anything. So this is a great one to have in your drawer at work or your desk at home. That you just might need a light if you're doing a video and you might need a light to show in the, the, the crevices of a, you know, it's just the perfect strength of a light. So it's great to have on you just around. And this is a Spartan light. I'll be doing full reviews on all of these eventually. The Spartan light. And then you have... This one, which is the, what is this again? I've forgotten the name of it. This is the Ranger. Isn't that the Ranger? No, Explorer. Sorry, I'm still getting used to them. I remember them a lot of the times, but not all the times. This is an Explorer. And the reason this Explorer, this one has a magnifying glass. It has the inline screwdriver. It has the large scissors. It has the, the large blade and the small pen blade, the cap lifter. And the, uh, sorry, I'm looking down here. Really, really sorry. So you have the magnifying glass. You have the inline screwdriver, large pair of scissors, two blades, and your the usual opening tools. And on the back, you have the, look at that, the <laughs> the boot tire, whatever you want to call that. And then your, your, wine bottle, your wine bottle opener, your eyeglasses, and another punch in the back of that one. This is a real favourite of mine taken with me because a lot of times I forget to take my reading glasses. So this becomes invaluable, absolutely invaluable to me. I think it's good. And the inline Phillips is definitely one that I use on a regular basis. This is one of my favourite carries at the moment. And they've been changing because I've got so many now. I'm starting to get used to them. But my supplier also gets... Vengers, so I can get the Vengers. They don't make these anymore. This is the other company I ran alongside um, um, Victoria Knox in Switzerland. They ran nearly a long time. They've just recently gone out of business. They've been bought over by Victoria Knox, but you can still get their older models and they're nice. They're, you can buy the nice smaller models, fatter blade. I just love the Vengers. Really nice. I'm starting to get, I think I've got about three of them, but I want to get more. And I can get that from my supplier as well. He's becoming more of a junkie than a supplier. But all those tools require maintenance. All those tools do not have a, a steel that is over robust. 
it's probably something equivalent to a 12C27, which is just a, a very average tool steel. It takes a wicked edge, doesn't hold it for a long time, but it takes a wicked edge. And the one thing that I'm always complaining about to people is learning how to sharpen. With this little tool, all them tools I've just shown you, and these ones, you can put this in your suit pocket, your jacket pocket, leave it in the desk at work. You can buy three or four of these. They're only about £10 each. Leave one at home, one in work in the drawer, one in your jacket pocket. For £10 or whatever it is, you get a fantastic tool that you can sharpen any of the knife blades on any of the Victorinox with ease because this is made by Victorinox, tested on Victorinox. It'll do any knife. But Victorian Ox it's tested on. And for that blade steel, that's all you need. You do not need a diamond blade for any of them knives or any of these knives. You just need this, which is fantastic. You can even do your, your hooks for your fishing on it. There's a line there for it on both sides. But a fantastic tool. I use it on most of my knives. If I've used a knife fairly hard during the day, this gets out and it just hones the edge and then I'll put it to a strop. You know, a couple of rubs up and down, and then it'll just straighten your straighten your, your the the apex of your knife out again, and then you can strop it. Absolutely fantastic! Please, please get one of them if you're going to do that. So before I go on to EDC carry, because those other ones are more heavy use, they're more for heavy use. EDC. Can Victorian Ox do your EDC and do an everyman EDC? 90, I believe 95% of people can use Victorian Ox in their EDC and be very satisfied and not have to worry. In fact, if you have one of these, you'll never have to worry about how sharp your blade is as long as you practice a little bit. And you only need a little bit. Excuse me, I'm just going to have a wee drink. Now, I've been using this fella here, and he now has uh, a little selling place at a, an outdoor market in uh, in England where he sells Victorinox and other things he sells, but he sells Victorinox, old American blades that he gets in from America, a wide range of knives. But Victorinox and the older American blades are his mainstay. This is a limited company. This is a man who stands over what he's doing. How many sellers are you going to find out there that are limited companies? Not that many. I would suggest, I, I say that, not that many. So he sells mostly online, but he has a shop in this, uh, it's a garden centre in the UK, um, which we'll maybe get on to another stage. I don't want to drag this out. But Dan, he's called Dan over at Bladebridge dot co dot uk i'll put that down below i trust him because i've been using him now and most of the knives that you're seeing i have bought from dan uh, and the service is fantastic never met the fella i talk to him quite a lot now and um, because a lot of my uh, subscribers are now starting to buy from him and seeing just what i seen straight away and um, he's just an honest fella will stand by anything does he make the odd mistake and send something that's not perfect he might but he'll fix it and that's what you want. That's that, that's all I ever want out of somebody who's selling something. Yes, sell it to me. If you make a mistake and it's maybe not perfect, will you fix it? Yes. There's not a question with Dan. He would do that. Absolutely. Doesn't have to do it very often, let me tell you. But it's it's a busy thing and he sells quite a few knives during the week. But Victoria Knox, and what he does before your knife will come out, if it's not a new knife, he'll let you know if it's a, a, a brand new knife needs nothing to it or if it needs clean and then he'll clean it with the sterilizing machine he'll put new toothpick he'll put a new uh uh what do you call them tweezers he will completely clean it polish the scales sharpen the blades and then send it to you but he also does that service as a, as you can pay him to do a service on your Victorian Ox, you can send it to him. He'll completely sanitize it, change them things that I'd said. He will sharpen the blades, oil the knife, and send it back to you for a, an incredibly reasonable price. And that's going to depend on what you're sending to him. So I can't give you that. But all you got to do is contact him. He's so contactable. But on bladesbridge.co.uk, you can go to his other sites. He's on Etsy. He's on Instagram. He's on YouTube. 
all them things you can be directed to from the bladebridge.co.uk site. Fantastic. That's it. I'm going to stop there now. Now, here's what I'm starting to enjoy with Victoria Knox. Yes, I have these tools now. I have my own little knife room. I have, this is, you know, always within a few steps of me. So I have them in a box and I can come and pick whatever I want. But for EDC, when I'm leaving the caravan or when I'm leaving the house, this is the EDCs that I'm now employing more than I did before because they're just simply that good. I'll have a pen with me. I have a torch with me. I have a small cutting tool, which I like to take out rather than my main knife. This is an executive from Victoria Knox, which has blades, scissors, lovely pair of scissors, nail cleaning equipment. It's just an absolutely fantastic little pocket dropper that you can have in it. The main blade, now you see these were colour coordinated. Did you notice that? Did you notice I good? <laughs> so I like colour coordinating things like this. The main blade that I'll carry is the Alox, and it's a solo, it's just a one blade. Absolutely super big knife. Really, really full four fingers, 91 millimeter, absolutely super slip joint. Fantastic. Takes a razor's edge, and I mean a razor's edge which can be easily topped up with this. And you, I employ you to take one of these in your coat with you. Just stick it in your coat pocket. Your inside coat pocket, or if you've got a bag or a fanny pack, throw it in it. It's absolutely the biz. And this knife will do me all day, most days, without even using that. Without even using that. But if I did, quick stop, and that's it, gone. Or strap it in the belt, it'll come back. But I just use that, and it'll bring it back immediately. So will the blade on here. So, that, I mean, that's a colour coordinated, very pleasant carry to take anywhere. If you're an office worker, you've got a nice pair of scissors on it, things that you might use in that. This is one for a more, I'm not sure what's going to happen today. I'll have my pen. I'll have a flashlight, colour coordinated, of course. I have the uh, leather squirt, which gives me a pair of pliers, which I love having. And it also gives me a pair of scissors. This knife gives me the... The opening layer, this is the can opener, this screwdriver. It gives me the oh, bottle opener and a flathead screwdriver. It also gives me a large main blade. Absolutely super. But at the back, it also gives me a punch, which again, I just find punches. Easy. I don't know what it is. I like punching holes and things, and I'll find an excuse to use a punch. But there's a super... Again, this is that, but because it's got the same size blade as this, you're not going to be short, and it has the small blade as well. You're not going to be short on cutting. And as long as you have this, you'll definitely never have to worry. I don't really worry. I've had this. I can't remember the last time I had to use it during the day to top up a knife, but having it is a security. That's the security part. And that's why I'm liking Victorian Ox, because I can build little systems around what I'm going to do for that day. And is that not what EDC is all about? Building little, you know, I love building up a little selection of tools to take with me. It's part of my knife hobby. Not only the knives, but all the bits and pieces that go with it. And I know there's a lot of you out there that do that as well. And I'd love you to share some of your your little things that you, you know, some of your little EDCs that you put together that are that are important to you on a daily basis. But anyhow, check out Dan. Please do. His servicing is fantastic. You just send your knife to him. He just sorts it out, cleans it, sharpens it, sterilizes it, and just brings it back to you in mint, well, as good as mint condition, he can bring it back to you, uh, buffed and everything. So please try them out and uh, let me know what you think of Victoria Knox. Do you use it? Would you use it? Why not try it? Start with a solo, start with whatever, because once you start, this is just a fantastic knife. And this is a great give knife to somebody. And it's under, I think it's about 20 quid. Somewhere around, maybe even under that. Fantastic giveaway knife to anybody, your teenage son, anybody at all. So take care, everybody. Paddy's away for a wee cup of tea. Bye now.